Hello. Uh, thank you for having me today. Um, I'm, I talk about today scalable deployments. Uh, today I talk about how we cook fast deploy. And I will not talk about topics here. Uh, I will only talk only just only deployments. Okay, let me introduce myself. Um, I'm Sora from Japan, and still the youngest of Ruby core team. And I'm still 17, so I have worked hard to get my parents approval <laughs> for this trip <laughs> and giving them a peace of mind <laughs> because this far is, uh, trip is too too far. <laughs> and I work full time for Cookpad, uh, for the biggest uh, famous recipe sharing website in Japan. Okay, so deployments. First, uh, here's our leg start of my uh, lays up. As I said, we are running famous and biggest application in Japan. So we perform deployments of this huge Rails application showing here every day. Like over 1,000 500 models, and line of code is overflowed. <laughs> and our infrastructure is we have over 140 servers and ship over 10 times per day in peak. Because we are allowing all developers to perform uh, deployments by their same zone under these rules. Code should be going on CI only during working hours. Uh, developers should watch hours for an hour after they deploy. And developers should roll back if error rate increases or having any troubles. Next, uh, our deployment flow was like this. Uh, answer topic when it gets merged, uh, she will answer build. If it succeeded, uh, she will create new git tag, then start uh, deploy automatically to staging server. Developer checks staging then and finally initiates a deployment to um, get production. Previously, we had used Capistone tool uh, with rsync over SSH. We put deploy server for kickoff Capistrano uh, in our infrastructure because Cap takes uh, too much bandwidth, bandwidth, so it, it can't learn from developer's local machine. And we have chat ops too, uh, like this, uh, he will deploy Cookpad. Okay, do you see this flow good? Uh, but we have a problem for this flow. It's a time spent for deployments. We run text case in the fastest weekend, about 10 minutes, uh, in order to get fast, that fast. We have to do parallel testing and more hacks to run test fast. So we can, sh we can get more shorter, this, because this is the, the CI run is the fastest weekend. So uh, this, this can be shorter. Then, uh, the purpose takes five minutes to check staging, and finally, Capistrano takes over 10 minutes. Uh, it's clock. So, developer must take about 15 to 20 minutes after they have wanted to deploy changes on production. <coughs> and we also have some issues, uh, kind of bad, kind of bad smells on deployment flow. First, we were using uh, older Capistrano version with complicated and super historical cap file. <laughs> so it was time to level from scratch. For instance, uh, we have a lot of files shown here, and over 2,500 of lines for deployment. <laughs> this is cap file. <laughs> it had to read, and I, I couldn't know where is the important part of uh, deployment code, deployment script. Next, uh, secure shell SSH is slow. As I said, we have many servers. Uh, it consumes to, um, high CP usage and sometimes fails due to timeout. Sometimes fails. Critical. <laughs> you know? This is the same diagram shown before. If there's no error, 
deployment finish in about 20 minutes, but usually the error we encounter is a timeout. So when error occurs, we, wait, we have to wait for a few minutes. For instance, three minutes wait and then retry it. In, uh, in the worst case, we have to retry again. <laughs> So deploy step will be uh, not, not 10 minutes, um, takes more than 10 minutes. Long time spent from uh, branch have get merged and developer, developer want to get change on production. Okay, next let me introduce my team. My team, uh, development infrastructure, aims to keep and improve uh, developer's productivity like uh, keeping development fast and maintain and improve our test environment and something like that. Of course, uh, we have thought this state is a problem, so I started working on improve it. So here's the plans. One is replacing uh, with Capistron Free with Scratch. I have heard SSH problems have improved uh, from Capistron Free but I couldn't think uh, SSH uh, scales for future server growth uh, because we are still growing, so I expect uh, more servers in future. Uh, so after discussion in the team, uh, I decided to create new tool. So here's uh, introducing Mamiya. Uh, it's already on my GitHub. So. Uh, Mamiya uses a tool named Surf uh, to orchestrate servers. And Amazon S3 for file distribution, also having uh, compatibility with Capistrano 2 and 3 for easier migration from, uh, from Capistrano to Mamiya. So, Surf is an orchestration tool from Hashcope. Uh, how many do you know? Raise your hand if you know. Nope. Uh, Surf is an orchestration tool from Hashcope. Uh, it's decentralized, uh, fault tolerant, and highly available. It uses, it uses gossip protocol for communication uh, each other. And gossip protocol is, uh, according to Wikipedia, a uh, protocol inspired by a form of gossip. So, uh, quick introduction. Uh, we have eight nodes here. Someone initiated an uh, event and then found out to run down two nodes first. And repeat again. Repeating. Then nodes drops uh, events already uh, proceeded, uh, processed. Uh, after a while, uh, all nodes should have the same event. Drops to. Okay, now all have uh, same event. That's gossip protocol. It takes uh, some UDP bandwidth, but <coughs> it's better than SSH. I also have created another gem called Villain to control surf cluster. Check this out too if you are interested. And how Mamiya works. We have these five concepts, uh, master node, engine node, a package, and storage, and steps. Master node controls and watches a whole cluster and all agents. It controls the whole cluster, sends requests to agents, and watches uh, agent status and has HTTP API to accept requests from human. Agent uh, accepts uh, requests from master node and runs deploy tasks, some uh, commands and, it, uh, and blah, blah, blah. Deploy script uh, contains how to prepare and restart up, uh, and contains how to build a package and written in Ruby DSL. Package is a table of files to deploy. Yes, your application. It also contains deploy scripts that used to build itself. Script will be used from agent two. Storage, 
Flash source packages. Amazon S3 is available out of the box, but you can write your custom uh, storage adapter if you want. Then step is a part of deployment process. It can be run separately and call remotely from master nodes. Steps is like this, uh, fetch and prepare and switch. Uh, if switch has called first, uh, Mamiya kicks uh, fetch and prepare task first automatically because they are, they are required to uh, run switch task. Okay. And here's deployment flow with Mamiya. Uh, CI build package when passed and CI pushes the package to flage then deployment starts, master sends prepare request to agents, agent fetches package, then prepare it. Next, uh, master confirms all agents have prepared, and master sends switch request to agent is agents. Then finally, agent switches team links, and then reload after process. In a diagram like this, So by using Mamiya results, no dependency to SSH that is slow, but we can do more, more faster. So let, let's back to uh, previous slide. Steps is a slice step of deployment, deployment like fetching package, preparing package, and releasing it. These pack steps can be run separately, so we can do application preparation earlier before developers say deploy, like bundle install and uh, assets compile. It. So now flow becomes like this. Uh, CI calls prepare step after, just after completed push package. So preparation will be completed while developers is checking staging server. So, and this is the result. Using Mamiya with doing preparation earlier, deploy takes only 30 seconds for uh, 140 servers. Uh, 16 times faster than uh, Capistrano. And see this graph too. This graph records time spent for deployment in Cookpad. After using Mamiya, value is dropped down under one minute. Okay, let's get them. Yeah, this is recorded. Oh. Okay. Okay. So, uh, Mamiya uh, it has an uh, example configuration in uh, our repository. So, I'm starting. Uh, I have started using Foreman. It, it, and it, this is included in Mamiya repository and can uh, allow us to uh, test in local. So for testing, uh, we have two directories in local and that used by two agents. And this is deploy script uh, used for Mamiya um, both used from building, package, and prepare, then releasing. So the, this goes too quickly, so I have inserted a uh, flip to get no. Okay. Then uh, this, uh, this is building a uh, package using deploy script. Built. And one table and one JSON for metadata. Pushing it into, oh, push it onto storage. Then
you can inspect the cluster using Mamiya, cl uh, Mamiya client command. And it communicates to the master node. Listing packages. And list agents available on cluster. And you can inspect agent status digitally. The detail of the agent. Next. Um, prepare the uh, agent with a push package. Getting the package name. Uh, dash way means application name. So, as you can see, uh, uh, and the panel running Mamiya uh, is have something work. And you can see a status of package that is have been prepared. The directory for agents uh, have been changed with a new package and releases. Pre-release means um, is for package that prepared but not released yet. So finally, we can deploy using deploy command to release the package. As the same as uh, Capistrano, we have current symlink and release directly. And build the package again and push it. And you can pa uh, you can skip the prepare because uh, the oops <laughs> oops you can deploy skip uh, with skipping prepare because they uh, initiate prepare. Uh, if, if the specified package has not prepared yet. Okay. And uh, let's check the directories again. Current symlink with uh, have been replaced with a new package. And we have new package directories in uh, agent directory. So that's all. And, uh, and another demo that the rollback. This goes really quick than Capitano. Oops. Just run. Uh, you can see application status and there. Uh, that have a common uh, previous release and current major uh, current package having a majority. And we are rolling back to the previous package we have deployed. This is. Just call client rollback and specify application. It detects uh, previous release automatically and rollback to it. <laughs> rollback has uh, 
just done in using the same deploy process. So if some agent has not uh, that pack, uh, the previous package, it, it will start autom uh, automatically fetch and prepare, then switch it. That's all. Okay. So I have future plans here. Uh, Mamiya is still not perfect. It doesn't have rich UI, uh, beta documentation, and rich error tracking. Currently, uh, error tracking has uh, required to log into server and see the log in remote server. So I have to collect uh, into a one master node. So I, I have a plan to implement later. And we have some alternatives recently, uh, such uh, code deploy from Amazon Web Services. Uh, I have tried that and it seems nice for me. I think Mamiya may be an um, overkill for most environment because you have to start maintaining the cluster uh, about like a crashing <laughs> or some errors. So use suitable tool for your environment. Uh, Capistan still can be a choice for you. Because we have, uh, just for we, uh, for us, uh, we want to uh, deploy faster, so I have create, but created and installed this tool, but it, um, using this is up to you. Okay, uh, that's all. Thank you.